Gawa yetu, eh? Gawa yetu? Wow, I like that. I just want to associate myself with the comments that have been given by Professor Naituli, representing our sister mother, Karua, and also my brother Gideon Moy. Uh, those wonderful sentiments about our friend Cyrus Jerongo and UDP. But Cyrus, I want to surprise you. I read the Bible quite a lot. And there's a story about Cyrus in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah 45. Listen to this, Cyrus. I'm just losing it. That says, it's actually at Isaiah 45 and verse 1. That says Jehovah to his anointed, to Cyrus. And I just want to put Cyrus Jerome. <laughs> Whose right hand I have holden to subdue, listen to this, Cyrus, to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings to open the doors before him, and the gate shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the rough places smooth, Cyrus. I will break in pieces the doors of brass and cut in thunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that it is I, Jehovah, who will, will call thee by thy name, Cyrus. Cyrus was one of the greatest kings even before, even before the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And let me not preach. I see those characteristics of our brother Cyrus. Gideon said that uh, when they do the right things, they did them together. <laughs> When they did the wrong things, it was Cyrus. <laughs> but listen again to the words of, I don't know how many of you have seen, listen to uh, some fantastic poems written over time, one by Radian Kipling, whom I like. And it's just a simple if, and ends up being, you'll be great, my son. If you could sit with kings and with royalties, I'm paraphrasing, and yet not lose the common touch. If you could live and live with people who we'll lose their heads and keep on blaming it on you, losing their heads and blaming it on you, Cyrus, then the writer of that wonderful poem says, you could be a man, my son. Even those things that are done wrong by other people, losing their head and blaming it on Cyrus Jerome. Today we are here to tell Kenyans, this is the real Cyrus Jerome, the true liberator of this country. I've listened to your wonderful speech. And uh, you see in Oka we believe, that as one Kenyan lands, we are strong as our constituent parties. Today I want to congratulate the delegates of UDP for making Oka proud. We need to give you a big, big clap. Perhaps up to this point, not many Kenyans would have wanted to run on UDP ticket as MCAs, as governors, as senators. And I see that Shaira, some people are shouting, CJ for governor. I said in Lugari, whatever seat it is that Cyrus Jerongo would want to go for, even if it's for the president, let him have it. I have my reasons for it. For the short time I've known him, I've not as been close to him as Gideon Moy over the years. But I know how many of you remember YK92. Cyrus built some names which today remain ungrateful to him. And if you ever get time with Cyrus Jerongo to tell you the great things they, do, they did as YK92. By the way, those days, I was the National Organizing Secretary of Kano. 
for 12 years. And so we know our country. And we know that great might. You know, people who are dying to associate themselves or have some tea or take a photo of with Cyrus Jerome. But the man is as simple as he looks. Now, great minds and great revolutionaries do not go shouting. And I see in my brother Cyrus today a revolutionary leader. And whatever it is we are going for, I wish I had a vote wherever you want to run. But I think my vote can also be represented by the loud shouting that we will make so that people can hear that the time for real change. Because I say you cannot keep doing the, all the things the same way and expect different, different results. Today the message is simple. Silas, I'm not here to campaign. Maybe my brothers Raila and Gideon will want to campaign. Gideon has tried actually. <laughs> Maybe Raila will try after me. Today I just want to make a simple message. And that is basically one on the economy and on corruption. I will disclose that before coming to this meeting, I had a serious discussion with uh, a serious anti-corruption czar, known not just in this country but the world over. The name is John Gedongo. About a time, quality time with John Gedongo this morning, I was trying to pick his mind. I was trying, John, the time to really change this country for real is now. And, and I can understand Manigidi's uh, frustration. And you see now, as a, as a senior counsel, if I say it like him, Kicha Pandehi, Namigu, Ngini, Namwini Pandehi, I know that there are those who say, but it is an expression of frustration. For how long, Kenyans, are we going to keep on repeating the same old mistakes? Nobody believes us now when you talk about the fight against corruption. I say that. And I'll repeat that all those corrupt people, and we know them. In fact, the corrupt have been regrouping, and you can see them as they move across the length and the breadth of this nation. You can see the cartels moving in support of one candidate or another. They are not, because they want to protect their interests, because they want to be part of the next government so they can protect their ill-gotten gotten wealth. We have some very good and very bad news for them. The good news is, out of my discussion with John Gedongo, we will give you a moratorium of exactly six months. Murudisha is of feather, ambazo mumeiba, mumeibia watu wetu feather, mpaka watoto haona kazi, watoto analalanja, Six months. After six months, the bad news is we will be absolutely ruthless with you, whoever you, whoever you are. And we will make sure in accordance with our belief in the principles of the rule of law, make sure that the wheels of justice will turn as fast as they possibly can to catch up with you so that you will be the example. You cannot, you cannot, gentlemen and ladies, uh, I think that is Mpuru Ampuri, if I know him. Hey, one time he used to say, He's from Meru. Uh, so this is my message, and it's not a campaign message. Cyrus, I'm not going to campaign. There will be time. I remember in 2017, we agreed on the joint candidature of Right Honorable Raila Odinga on the 27th of April, 2017. But IBC have allowed the campaigns to start three, four years down the line. If there was ever a, a, a toothless <laughs> agency. Because even when they issue edicts against hate speech or calling somebody 
Did we not hear my brother Raila, a confession by somebody who said they stole our votes? Yangu na Raila. That's why I keep on saying to Lishinda, tena to Kushinda. To Kashinda Marangini, 2013 to Lishinda, tena to Kushinda. In 2017, to Kashinda, tena to Kushinda. We paranga the computer, we got together. Mwenye kuiba, ametangazwa. Leave alone the Honorable Sabina Chege, for goodness sake. She just said what was in her heart. So IBC is calling them, calling her now, calling out her name. But IBC, where have you been taking the whole nation on a fully-fledged campaign mode from 2018? And nobody was able to call out those people. Because in a hurry to hide their stolen money, confuse our youth and our women with very strange economic models. We have said, in order to reclaim the glory of this nation, as Brother Gideon has said, within our borders, we will have to work hard. I've talked of 24-hour economy. It is doable. We have said you can work three shifts. Whoever said, whoever said in this country that workers can only be paid at end of the month? Hey, the late David Kabaka would sing about Mishara <laughs> Misha Moise. We have now, in order to increase the velocity of money, Pesa Fukoni, we get money circulating after every two weeks, after people are working for 24 hours and three shifts, and making Mombasa our port city, a free port, Lamu, a free port. Then it will even make sense with this standard railway gauge. So, Cyrus, I don't want to campaign. This is your day. <laughs> This is your day. As I said, perhaps Raila will, will, will speak. Um, but again, Gideon has to be very clear. I have nothing useful to add. Lawyers will tell you they have nothing useful to say. They, I, I agree absolutely with the opinion of my brother Gideon and have nothing useful to add. Only that we as one Kenya lands believe in the unity of this nation. And if I heard correctly, because I've not followed very closely what has me have been saying, it looks like we are singing the same language of national unity. <laughs> but we are stressing honesty and engagement. Dugu Cyrus, the hurricane man. One time before Dugu Eta left us and my DVD, I had nicknamed him Mr. Rockman. <laughs> Because he's in a hurry. You heard him say in a hurricane style, a hurricane style that uh, not the one which made the landfall in Madagascar, that uh, even delegates want to know who is the presidential candidate before they leave. That is a hurricane man. But he could also be carrying a rope <laughs> to rope in people. I really admire the speed, the the, uh, the strength of character and the clarity of mind that our brother Cyrus Girongo has. And so, structured dialogue, honest conversation, no who's bad type of thing. And then the media will come up with amazing headlines. <laughs> the indecisive kingmaker. Why is it that they are when I when I to me me peke yangu? So as an Gideon Moy, Wangalia Cyrus Jirongo, Wangalia Mother Karua, what are you in a hurry to do? This time round, we will get this equation right. Trust me, so that this country will be forever free, and leadership will be seen to be what it is, a beacon of hope. When we say good governance, the rule of law, every Kenyan will believe us. So, Mungu abariki sana wa na UDP, Lugusaira Zirongo, may you live forever. Remember Isaiah 45. Yani ile secret wealth utapata. Na ukipata hiyo kuja saidia one Kenya lands. Na usaidia Kenya.
So thank you so much and I'm happy to see my brother Raila Odinga. Pole sana kwa safari na mambo mengi. Mungu akubariki pia. Thank you. Asante sana. Unasikia siasa. Anasema mimi I don't want to campaign. Na sana maliza yake siasa. Same campaign. Ni wana siasa. I admire Kalonzo, I admire his experience. Season, ni vigumu kuwa kwa serikali. Miaka hile Kalonzo amekuwa kwa serikali. And you have no single scandal behind you. 